Hello, I'm Julia Garby and I'm here at the University of Waterloo and we're going to uh, walk around the Mechatronics Graduating Class of 2022 Symposium and check out all these teams and see what kind of robots they made. All right, let's go around. Let's go. This is the robot that my team made. We are called Opus. We made a uh, autonomous mural painting robot. So ideally it would be with a spray paint can, but we can't demo that indoors. So the proof of concept is with this um, whiteboard. Hello, Matt. Would you like to talk to our, uh, I'm interviewing you now. Hello. How do you feel? I am tired. How late did you stay up last night? Uh, Can you explain to us what your robot does? Our robot is a dog. Basically, the idea here is a lot of farming still needs manual labor. You know, if you have a big open field, it's pretty easy to just put a tractor on it. But if you have like a tea farm, it's often on a mountain, kind of going to be a tractor of a mountain. So it's still relying on entirely manual agriculture today. So instead of having workers lugging around all their tools or all their crop they're harvesting or whatever, and uh, you know, breaking their backs all day long, the idea here is we build a platform that'll follow them around through these adverse terrains that's capable of carrying that work for them. Uh, yeah, it's a fancy multi-effect guitar pedal and uh, wireless interface with this interface here. So we have a guest musician here, this is Julia. Miles, do you want to just keep playing for us? Like, kind of, but I gotta go. <laughs> what is this for? I don't know, I just got to film stuff. Would you like to tell us in one sentence, or, or just a couple sentences, what your robot does? Uh, sure, it does force inversion. Basically, the gist is it's a gravity agnostic exercise machine. So you can exercise in space, correct? And you can do plyometric exercises in space, which have never been done yet. I don't know what that word means. Plyometrics is like explosive style exercises, such as jumping, throwing a ball. It's like a home bubble tea machine. That's amazing, I want one. Jake, okay, come get a close up. So our goal here is to make uh, gardening at home easier. And so it can kind of measure your aspects of pH, moisture and whatnot, and automatically detect. If it's below certain level, it can water it and kind of keep track of that, do it constantly. The posture correction device, it does this by means of providing localized haptic feedback along different locations along your back. It helps you maintain your posture throughout the day. We wanted to replace uh, police officers, the car chases in total, so that, um, so we're launching a tracking device onto like a moving target, and then the police officer can manually select which car to shoot at, and then they can uh, safely track it by like launching it manually. It's a smart uh, bike locking system. We built a smart docking station where you can bring your bike uh, secure the front wheel, the back wheel, adjust it depending on your bike. Can you explain in about 10 seconds what your robot does? Uh, it picks peaches. That's really cool, thank you. We have now entered the second floor of two floors. A robot to essentially uh, automate the monitoring for coffee rust within coffee farms. Multiplanar 3D printer. For our printer, we added two rotational axes that it rotates this way and tilts this way, so then it can print on any of the sides. With pretty good quality, too. It has embedded displays in all the keycaps, and the idea is to make the keycaps be able to do whatever you like. Hi, 
Welcome to Visit. Um, here we set out to create a nominally transparent sun visor to replace the current alternatives. main things that we found when we talked to crutch users is that they lose the use of their hands. So for example, just think about like everyday tasks. If you're in your kitchen and you just want to grab a glass of water, you have a crutch, right? You can't just let go of it. You have to rest it against something. So you have to have an available wall or counter. And then even if you do have one available, the crutch still might like fall over. You know, and if you have a disability, for example, bending down to pick up your crutch is a much easier said than done. So there is a clear need to us for a crutch that can stand on its own. prosthetic device um, for people affected by foot drop. Using electrical muscle stimulation to stimulate the muscle that's responsible for lifting the toes. Um, and then that way we can help people walk on their own while still allowing them to use their muscle. Our group is working on a, a boat that can help uh, swimmers train uh, in open water for triathlons and such events. Basically the boat works with a GPS system, so you can program in a GPS route for the boat to follow, and you can give it a certain speed, and then the swimmer can follow the boat so that they know that they're going in the right direction at the right pace to meet their time. This is Pill Agenda, an automatic pill dispenser. You can also make schedules for the certain types of pills. pressure-sensitive mat that can detect metrics like pressure, uh, breathing rates, and body movements. Our solution is catered towards children with cerebral palsy, uh, age 6 to 12 years old. At night, when the child lays on our mat, um, over time, maybe a few days, weeks, or months, uh, we can compare the pressure distribution. An occupational therapist can then use this data to compare the pressure dis distribution over time and help identify areas that are prone to high pressure source and then recommends uh, better solutions for them. So this is our proto mat and this is our full size mat. Cool, thank you so much. Thank you. Daniel, do you have any extra words to add? Um, no, just everyone keep doing what you can to better the world.